a level 1 game dog here, and, uh, oops. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I had the option for the wrong game up for a moment. Oddly, they're both RPG Maker games, so it just kind of works for some reason. Just the resolution is a little different. Anyway, we're back with Pokemon Uranium. It's actually been a little while since I last recorded. Um, I've been very busy recently. In fact, this is why I record such a huge backlog. And uh, today, I think we're going to start this ice cave up here. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not what I expect to see. Um, the only thing worth noting that I did in between episodes is I gave Laser Bean the EXP share, because, um, I think he evolves at level 55, or 45, and I'm very curious to see what that is. And, uh, we're coming up to an ice area, I believe, so, well, honestly, people like you are going to be a lot more useful here. I want to see if I can get you some levels as well. But right now, it looks like we're going to fight a few grunts. Let's put someone, um... Looks like it might be a double battle, too. So let's go ahead and do that. Um... It, uh, okay. It's <laughs> going somewhere. You're going to do that. Um, you've got something the boss wants. Yeah, we ain't going to let you pass till the boss gets what he wants. Quick, take his Pokeballs. Not so tough of your, oh, your friends to fight for you, are you? I'm being carried somewhere. It's hard to stay conscious. That uh, sound effect is from the default RTP pack. <laughs> Look, you're awake. Larkspur. I knew that you'd be powerless if I, <coughs> if I caught you by surprise. After all, what good is a trainer without their Pokemon if you don't have them to defend you? You're just a poor, helpless child. Please understand, I never meant to cause you any harm, but I couldn't let you go with that valuable prototype, of course. I'll let you know a little secret. Luxburg Research Industries has been under um, underwater? Hmm. I owe a significant sum of money to people that one doesn't want to be in debt to. Oh, that kind of underwater. Okay, <laughs> that was like an underwater base or something. That will all change now that we've got the Pokemon Speech Translator prototype. My scientists will reverse engineer it and we'll start mass producing our own copies. We can use technology to further our research into, ma into a machine that will let trainers suppress their Pokemon's will, making them obey without hesitation. I know of, uh, of at least a few organizations who are promising a pay uh, to pay me very highly for uh, their tech uh, when this technology is complete. Now, be a good little kid and keep quiet. My scientists are examining the Pokemon Speech Translator as we speak. When uh, they are done with their work, I'll let you go free, but we can't have you causing any trouble before them. If you do as you're told, we may even let you have your Pokemon back again. Although, I'm, so I'm solely tempted to keep them for myself. We could always use more specimens uh, for our experiments. My Pokemon will not listen to you. Like, <laughs> it's... Okay, looks like I gotta break out of jail, because it is not an RPG. Unless you need to break out of jail at some point. Hey you, wake up. Here's some food. You don't exactly feel hungry, huh? There's no underneath the bread. I can't tell uh, who... Um, I can't tell you who I am, but I just want you to know that I don't think uh, the professor, what the professor is doing is right. Kidnapping a child. I can't be seen helping you out, though, so all I can do is tell you this. There's a structurally weak weakness in your cell if you is it that yeah it's that thing back there i actually saw that hmm. i was thinking back to um 092 i'm gonna write that down real quick thankfully i have a txt document up oh I have a couple notes open for the game i'm working on that's coming along pretty nicely by the way all right cool oh never mind i can just check it okay yeah i was thinking back to to tar's adventure Yeah, because you, you break out of jail the exact same way there. Uh, that's the Onion Kid. Oh, Garlic Kid, excuse me. <laughs> he seems to recognize you. Garlic Kid. Is he going to join me for this, like, one area? He's pointing to the console on the other side of the room. I had to check. Um, okay, so it's 092. Oh, good. Well, there's more in here. Oh, geez. Um,
Why is that censored out? That's kind of weird. Oh, I gotta enter it every time. Come on now. It seems like he's sorry about the last time you fought. He's grateful that you rescued him and seems to want to come along. Alright, cool. So is he my Pokemon now? Uh, looks like it. He's genderless for some reason. Huh, interesting. Grass and finding is a good typing. Justified, that's cool. That's a good moveset. Okay, cool. Very interested to try this kid out. Um, <clears throat> he seems disappointed. Wait. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wow, he's a lot stronger than he looks. Wait a second. That looks a little weird. Like, it looks a little uneven whenever I run through. Eh, whatever. <laughs> you know what it looks like? Have you guys ever seen that gif where, like, a Pomeranian jumps through, like, a couple bars like that? But the thing is, though, Pomeranians are, like, 80% fur, so they just kind of run through, like, <laughs> it's... Oh, they know exactly what I have on me. He's level 52, that's pretty great. Okay. He might be faster, but Drain Punch will get my health back. Oh, wow. Gargareth. Just keep doing this. You want to be kind of crazy? What if you had to fight your own team? Fighting this Gargarth made me think of that. Like, what if um I had to fight um. What what if like that that um that like dude um had my team on him and I had to like use uh use like a makeshift team I found in here. That seems like it'd be a cool uh, thing to do in like a in a, like a fan game. What the hell is that kid and that Pokemon? How'd they get loose? But is he gonna fight? <laughs> He's gonna fight and send me out, is what it is. Nope, okay. <laughs> Garlic Head Sprite looks familiar for some reason. It feels like it's an added version of something else. Like, it looks too humanoid to be a Pokemon Sprite, you know? I wonder what happens if he faints. You think I go back to my cell? Or do you think it like glitches out and I go back to the Pokemon Center? Drillgin. Um Oh, you're not, um I always forget this thing is in part poison, it's part psychic. This guy is really strong too. I wanna check out its stats real quick. Oh, it has mostly equal attack and special attack. That's pretty cool. Ah, cool. Okay, so I have my team back. It's just that he's on me right now. I wonder if I can keep him after this is all done. Stop right there. All my research, all my notes my, uh, my assistant took on the Pokemon speech translator, that thing destroyed them all. As long as I still have this, it doesn't matter. The PST, this will bring me a brand new future. I'm tired of treating you nicely just because you're a kid. This time, I will have no mercy. My Pokemon will destroy you and that meddling monstrosity. Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh, Stealth Rocks. He probably has a lot of Pokemon on him. That's not going to do too much. 
He is three levels higher than me, so I should be a little careful. Is takedown really the best you can do to me? Like, it doesn't have, like, crunch at this point or something? What else do I got? Let's use this. He probably just has physical moves. Then maybe they use like a super potion and get a bunch of health back. Yeah, I still have some. Or just one. I'll use it. I should buy more of those. I, I, I've ran out of them quite a bit. Whoa! Oh, that must be what that like rat painter evolves into. He has like a spray can on his tail. That's kind of cool, actually. It looks maybe like a dark type or part dark. He has crunch. I did like no damage though. Let's use this as well. I kind of like this thing actually. Oh, no sketch. Oh, I hope he doesn't use Toxic on me. I might switch out if he does that, because I don't want him dying to poison. I'm not faster. Oh, let's just hope for the best. Okay, good. This combined with the poison should be enough to kill. I should, put, I should use, like, a PP up on that, um... On that uh, ancient power, I can see myself using that for quite some time. Yeah, I should do it. There we go. All right, that that's a cool Pokemon. I like that one actually. Luncha or L Luca Bra, Lucha? Hmm, I don't know. I don't think we've seen this one yet. Oh, oh, that thing our rival keeps using. That might be what that evolves into. Huh. You know, we already have a Luchador Pokemon. Wait, oh no. Okay, he's part poison and I didn't attack him. This might kill, actually. N uh, just barely. Okay, keep spamming, like... Oh, nope, okay. Well, he had a pretty good run, I guess. So probably fighting poison, if I had to imagine. Which is that typing I don't think is in the actual games. Like, that's a pretty cool one. Oh, goodness. You're the only one who's not weak to fighting. This thing's gonna destroy my team if I can't find a way to kill it quickly. Okay, a Thunderbolt. Good, good. Yeah, keep using that. That did nothing! I think only Thunderbolt can't miss. I think that might be its only attack. But that doesn't seem right. It's a fighting type. Oh, well, I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Free level up, I guess. Vilica. Oh, this thing. Uh, Poison Dark. Hmm. Poison and Dark. <clears throat> Let's go to you. Nice. I'm not getting too much out of that Stealth Rocks, actually. Or out of those Stealth Rocks. Let's see. Iron Head is probably my best bet. Oh, I need to, like, one-shot this thing, though, or else it's going to keep uh, restoring life. <clears throat> I 
I should have used something that could have debuffed him. Ah, oh, that, that does nothing. Um. I always forgot I have this. Going to a flying type? No. Okay. If you're going back to this, this might be your last Pokemon. Also, did Sean get a ton of speed when he evolved? I thought this thing was super slow, but it's outspeeding this thing. That critical hit might have mattered, actually. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, what, what am I saying? I got a boost. I don't think it did matter then. Chainite, uh, the chain thing. How many alive Pokemon do I have? I have four. Can double powered beat up with four hits kill something like that? It might be. I'll try it. Wait, what? Oh, wait, that thing evolves? Dude, that looks even more morbid. That looks like an off enemy. Like, <laughs> I really like that thing. I kind of want to use this thing even more now. I might go catch one after this episode. Nice. This can't be happening. How could um how could I be so humiliated by a child and a mere creature? I have to flee. They're going to catch me after uh, if I don't. Fine, just take the stupid thing. I never want to see the speech translator or these labs ever again. I'm fleeing the region, perhaps. Maybe Team Rocket will hire me. I think they'll hire anyone at this point, honestly. Okay, cool. You can understand me now. We sure kicked those bad humans' butts, didn't we? Good human. I heard those cries of the Pokemon that the, um, they were keeping prisoner, and I, Garlic Kid, destined, um, destined liberator of all Pokemon that are enslaved to try to free them. But somehow I got caught myself, uh, but you came and you set me free. For that I owe you my life. We are bonded now. I have decided you are a good human. I know you are not like those others. I want to travel with you. Together we will defeat many uh, more foes and vanquish evil whenever it, dare it dares to lurk. Oh cool, it joins my party now. Um, I may think of a name for it later. I don't really have a name for it. I, I guess I'll just call it Ace for now. I don't know. <laughs> Ace! Wait, why did it boot me out here? I can't go back in. Interesting. <laughs> well, that was an unexpected detour. Let's go back here. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna go catch one of those like chain things because those things look really cool and I kind of really want to use one now. Um, and then next time I think um, we will actually start the ice area, so I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.